What's up guys, it's Crumbs here, so I'm going to be bringing you a little 360 tutorial today, and um, if this is your first time hearing my voice, I just want to say hello, what's up, I'm Crumbs, this is my voice, and yeah, you've probably heard it on stream, but we're going to get into this 360 tutorial, and yeah, I also wanted to say thank you for all the support lately, it's been, it's been mad, and I've gotten a ton of requests for this, so yeah, let's get into it. Alright, I'm in this tutorial because no one's online. Because it's like 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, I don't know what I'm doing awake, help me. But, anyways, um, I got the on screen keyboard for you guys so that I can help you out with learning this. Um, and hell yeah, let's get into it. So, first, we're gonna start off very basic um, with just some WASD movements, right? Everyone knows how to do this, we just got. W A S D to move in a circle. Very, very, very simple. Right? This is step one. You need to be able to do this without doing this. Right? So if you press it too fast, you're not gonna move in a circle. It's gonna fuck up. So you need to get that down. Now, simply combine that with shift. So I'm holding shift while pressing W A S D and I'm moving in a circle. Very, very simple. You just gotta get the timing down. It's gonna take a while, so don't get too stressed, you know? So this is step two. Just holding shift while doing the same exact thing. And then, a mouse movement, right? So, do this, and then, right? Uh huh, so, um, as I'm editing this, I realized that Noboard kind of messed up a little bit on this part. Uh, when I mean a mouse movement, I simply mean a swipe to the right. Um, very, very simple. So a swipe to the right would just be keeping your mouse as straight as possible using a medium to high sense. You could copy my sense if you really wanted to. Um, it took me a while to find that sense, of course. But yeah, all I mean is a swipe to the right. Two swipes equals a 360. Anyways, back to the video. <laughs> Same thing. So it's a simple flick of the mouse. So it's two flicks. Every 360 is two flicks. Obviously, a perfect 360 would be a two 180 flicks. So 180, 180 to get back around. So that would be the perfect flicks. But a perfect flick to me is just maintaining momentum so that it looks clean, you know? Obviously, you don't have to flick if. You want a 360 you could just do this right like it's it's really gonna do the same thing um, this will probably work on some killers you know but obviously it doesn't look as cool and if you're here looking for a 360 tutorial by me you're probably asking for it to look cool and yeah so when you're running right and you're running in a circle it's essentially a 360 is two flicks right so it's this combined with two flicks very very simple a lot of people try to confuse it and try to mess it jumble it all up and make it some scientific method but it's really not hard right you can do it to the left which would be w d s a same thing or you can do it to the right which is w a s d those are, the two, those are the two different movements. Um, one is just going to the left, one is going to the right. It took me a while to get both of those down. I still don't have my left legs obviously as clean as my right. It's just something I have to work on. Right flicks, left flicks. You guys see what I mean? But anyways, essentially it's two flicks, so one, two. One, two, 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 one, two. And then you can go as fast as you want. And then etc. So back to the two flicks topic. A flick is just a swipe of the mouse to the right or left. Obviously, if you want a really, really good flick, um, you want to be 
looking directly right or directly left. So your mouse would move in a straight line, left or right. Now, obviously we're human, so that's not perfect. I, mine is not perfect at all. Um, I would suggest that when you're doing it, look down. Um, I don't know why I look down. Uh, I just feel when I'm looking like surface level, like it looks like this. This is like really weird, but when I look down, it looks, I don't know. It looks better than me. You, you could fucking, I don't, I don't think it really matters. You could probably look up if you really wanted to, but I look down personally. So and once again, we're going to do it really slow. One flick, two flick, one flick, two flick. fairly simple I, I'm fucking up a lot because I just woke up uh, my hands aren't warmed up but you guys should know what I mean by now it's if you start back from the beginning we're gonna do a very simple WASD movement add shift and add flex and it's that easy your 316 I know that it's easier said than done, so I would suggest practicing in tutorial. They have a tutorial, nice little open space, nice and quiet. Just, just practice, put on some music, practice, have some fun with it. Um, that's what 316 should be. It's not something that's gonna work every time against every killer, it's it's just not. Some killers know how to counter it, like me. Personally, I know how to counter it because, well, I 360 a lot, so it, it's worked on me like once, and that was like a year ago. Um, but movement's changed a lot. You can't go as fast as you used to be. So don't stress it too much. Uh, it shouldn't be something that you're doing instead of running loops, you know? 360 should be a last priority, and it should it should work. Like, it works like 40% of the time for me. Um, but this is coming from someone who's been 360 for like, three to four years so it's 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 a work in progress and i'm still working on it i'm obviously i'm working on my left legs still and it's been three years it's gonna take you guys a little bit so just don't stress that's what i mean i know i'm rambling but I'm sorry i just woke up um but yeah we're gonna do a little recap and then i'm gonna get into some tips and tricks for 360 so obviously there's gonna be some people just skip to the recap and uh as i don't recommend doing that i i get it because it's terrible to watch a long video i get that so as a recap we're gonna go through the steps really really quickly so step one we got a wasd while well, without holding shift so just do it slowly nice and slowly not messing up your movement and then you want to do that with shift same thing not messing up your movement and then you're gonna add two flicks one flick two flick 360 one flick two flick 360 same thing and obviously when you combine it you get a like let's do a 720 for example one two three four 720 perfect 720 or you do three which would be six flicks so it'd be one two three four five six that is three spins as two flicks equals one spin and one flick equals a 180. I'm gonna have like all this up screen on screen because I know I'm just rambling. I'm also gonna put my sensitivity on screen and my DPI and I'm gonna put my resolution. Um, resolution shouldn't matter. I think it does matter a little bit, um, but you don't have to go stretch rest if you don't want to. It's all personal preference. As with everything is 316. I wouldn't try copying my exact style of 316 guys, It's it should be something that like everyone has their own style. If you go look at all the jukers and you see us 316, we it doesn't look the same, obviously because we're human, you know? People make mistakes, people have their own styles with it, you know? Like it's 316 should be fun, it is like the only part of this game that just should be taken lightly, should be taken lightly, you know? like. 316 is, is something fun that we do for fun and we enjoy it and hell yeah it looks clean as fuck to hit a nice 360 it 
looks it looks very nice in a nice new 60. I think everyone can everyone can everyone can back that up. Um, it feels great to hit a nice 360. It's like hitting a nice headshot and fucking CS. Like it's like nice, it's like hitting a nice one tap. You know what I mean? But that's the recap. Uh, I'm gonna get into some tips and tricks. And hello, hello, hello. This is uh, editor Chrome stepping in. Uh, I just started rambling at this part and it made no sense. So um, for my tips and tricks, I'm I'm gonna leave that up to the next video. Um, I'm going to be making a more advanced guide to 360 for people who already know how to 360 but just want to step up their game. Um, I'm gonna keep this simple. It's already read on more than 10 minutes, and I don't want to keep you guys the rest of the fucking day. So. Yeah, uh, I'll see y'all in the next one, and um, if you enjoyed, subscribe, like, comment, you know those good things, you know all those good things, um, thank you again for the support, it's honestly so insane to me, um, and I mean that, like, it's nuts, thank you, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any questions, I will be in the comments, so just let me know. Anyways, peace out, guys.